Hi, this is Maji Nani, and uh, Radical Comics sent me um, issue number five for Abattoir. Uh, this is issue five of six, and um, I'm going to give you kind of like a re reviews, a little bit overview of what's going on, but I'm not going to give too many spoilers since this book isn't out on the market yet. Uh, overall, I really, I'm really enjoying Abattoir just because I mean it's a horror movie, it's a horror comic that's not relying on uh, your standard ghosts and your, um, or you know, like a mad slasher. There's, you know, haunted, I mean, there's killings, there's things, violence, things like that. But when you see what Jebediah's overall goal is so far, it's nothing like you would normally expect from, like, a typical horror movie or a horror story. Now, basically what's going on here is... We get at the very beginning. We're going to get a lot of background information on Jebediah and what he was like before, way before the events of this book. Uh, from there, then what we do is uh, we move on to um, Rich or Rick, sorry, and Rick is on his way to basically Jebediah's house. And what's really, really creepy is this Patrick guy. Uh, his facial expressions, the way the light goes around him, it has a very, very eerie quality. Now, um, there's also, in this story, I guess you could say there's a lot of things going on in here. It's, you know, you exhibit, there's, you get background information, you get somebody to finally stand up for Rick and say, yes, you know, Rick has, is sane, he's been set up. You also get, I guess you can say, and without revealing too much, is you get closure to a, a plot thread that was way, way, way at the beginning uh, concerning uh, Rick and his father. And um, it's once that's revealed, it gets even more twisted and more, uh, I guess you could say sinister, because you, can, you actually see... Um, how long Jebediah has been involved in, in Rick's life without him even realizing that. Uh, overall, like I said, this is, this is probably one of my favorite horror... Uh, I'll, I'll word it this way. This is one of my favorite thinking horror comics, uh, just because, like I said, it, it, it doesn't re rely on the usual tricks that, like, let's say, a hack slash would rely on. And don't get me wrong, I like hack slash, but it's, um, it's more of a thinking man's story. Uh, even more so than Driver of the Dead, just because Driver of the Dead relied on more of action. Uh, like I said, the art is fantastic. This house is is just amazing the way it's constructed. Uh, I love the facial expressions, uh, like especially with Rick and Patrick. Like I said, he's jacked up. Um, this old man who comes forward to talk about Jebediah, his face, the way he's aged is so it's just really well done. And uh, so far, I'm really, really pleased uh, with this. And I think when, depending upon how issue six ends, I, I think I'm definitely planning on getting the, the trade for this because this really has been um, uh, an enjoyable ride. It's you know it's definitely not for everybody because the mature title, you know, the mature themes that are involved in here. But because it, it's just so different than what you would normally expect from a traditional like horror comic. Um, so, like I said, totally enjoying it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the video up or down. Let me know what you think. Uh, and um, I'll have more reviews up later. So, um, until next time, and like I said, I'll have my new comics tomorrow.